If you're wholesaling houses, in this video, I'm gonna share two tips with you that you wanna keep in mind as we approach a buyer's market. Let's get into it. My name is Jamel Gibbs. I've been investing since 2002. And what qualifies me to talk about this is quite simply, this is my fourth market cycle that I'm heading into. I've been looking forward to this market cycle, this market transition from a seller's market to a buyer's market for over five years at this point. And the reason for that is because I believe there's gonna be huge opportunities coming up in the market that we're heading into. As we approach this buyer's market, your wholesale business will change, but it's not gonna change dramatically. There's only two things that you really wanna be mindful of, and if you make these small adjustments, you'll continue to make money as a wholesale real estate investor. So the first thing that you wanna be mindful of as we head into a buyer's market is to focus on finding your buyers first. In a seller's market, you can go out and find a deal, and the buyers will be a dime a dozen. In a buyer's market, buyers become more scarce. So you wanna find your buyers first, then find out what they want, and then go ahead and find the deal. And there's four things that you need to know when it comes to finding your buyers first. First thing I wanna know is where are they buying properties? Where have they recently purchased real estate? The second thing I wanna know is what are they buying? So where and what? What type of properties are they currently buying? The third thing I wanna know is how quickly they can close. And the fourth thing I wanna know is if they're paying cash or not. So those are the four qualifying questions that I personally ask from potential buyers that I do business with in a buyer's market. A Couple of ways to find your buyers. Some old school ways is to simply work with a realtor and ask them to pull a list of houses that sold for cash within the last 90 days. There's software out there that you can buy buyers lists from. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of those, but you can use those. You can go on Facebook Marketplace. You can post ghost ads. A ghost ad would be uh, something like, hey, uh, house for sale at 123 Main Street won't last. And then when the people call you, uh, you can simply start a conversation that way if you don't have a house for sale, or you can joint venture with other wholesalers to be able to sell some of their inventory to build your buyers list that way as well. But the whole point is to focus more of your attention on finding your buyers first in a buyer's market, and then go out, find out what they want, and then go and find what they want so that you can put the two together and make a wholesale profit that way. Second, what you need to do is make adjustments to the amount you're offering to motivated sellers in a buyer's market. So typically, the way I like to make adjustments is to find out what lenders are lending according to the after repaired value on a property. So let me give you an example. The average rehabber will use what's called the Mayo formula. It's the maximum allowable offer formula. And what that basically means is they're willing to pay ARV, which is after repaired value, multiplied by 70% minus the repairs, and that will equal the maximum amount that they can actually pay for the property. In a buyer's market, that number can adjust downward in order to be able to make a deal. Here's why. So typically, most buyers, if they're not true cash buyers, what they do is they go out and get what's called a hard money loan or a private money loan in order to be able to make the deal happen, in order to be able to get the funds to buy the deal. In a hot seller's market, a hard money lender will typically lend 70 cents on a dollar or 75 cents on a dollar, depending on the lender that you decide to go with. Now, in a buyer's market, as prices start to adjust, the lenders can turn around and tell the buyers that they're not willing to do 70 cents on a dollar anymore. So they'll adjust downward in order to be able to lend the, the money to the potential buyer. So I've seen lenders go as low as 60 cents on a dollar, 65 cents on a dollar. So you have to find out what lenders are adjusting to, and then you adjust that formula accordingly. So in a hot seller's market, let's just use 
the the uh, the typical seventy cents on a dollar, we would take the after repaired value, multiply it by seventy cents on a dollar minus the repairs, and that equals how much the buyer can actually pay. But since you're a wholesaler, you're going to have to adjust that number even lower. So what we do is we adjust it down to 60 cents on a dollar minus the repairs, which will compensate us for our wholesale fee. So that'll give us a 10% profit spread on every deal that we do. But as we approach a buyer's market, our wholesale offer is going to have to go even lower as well, because if buyers are only able to pay, let's say 65 cents on a dollar, then that means we can't pay 60 cents on a dollar. We're going to have to go down to 55 cents, maybe even 50 cents on a dollar in order to be able to make a substantial wholesale fee. What you're going to want to do is find out what lenders are lending at today. So whether it's 60 cents on a dollar, 65 cents on a dollar, find out what your buyers are paying on the dollar today. Then you multiply that number by, let's say, um, point whatever, if it's ARV times 0.65 that your buyer is paying, you're going to multiply that number by ARV times 0.55 minus the repairs, and that will equal your offer formula. So don't overcomplicate this. This is really easy to understand, really simple adjustments that will keep you in business for a really long time. And as the market continues to cycle back into a seller's market at some point, then you're going to make the adjustment in order to be able to not shoot yourself in the foot and lose out on deals. So really, as a wholesaler, all you're doing is adjusting your numbers based on what happens in the market. And if you do that, you'll be wholesaling real estate and making a lot of money for a very long period of time. I hope this video benefited you today. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.